and a non-privileged resolution voicing City Council's strong interest and enthusiastic support of proposals to purchase the Philadelphia Energy Solutions refinery site that align with the City of Philadelphia's goals to improve air quality, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and protect the health, safety, and welfare of Philadelphia residents. Chair recognizes Councilwoman Reynolds Brown. Thank you, Mr. President. Today, I introduce the resolution on the future of the oil refinery with a rules suspension because, quite frankly, we are at a critical juncture for the future of our city. I would be, uh, it, it is important to acknowledge and say thank you to Council Members Johnson and Councilwoman Janie Blackwell, whose districts surround the refinery. Tomorrow, Friday, November 22nd, is the deadline established by the Philadelphia Energy Solutions for proposals on the future of the former refinery site. And we know that uh, the history there is not favorable and that we understand that there have been decades where PES has not been a good actor, uh, but the good news is that their, fu their, their future is none. As everyone in this body knows, the future of that site continues to have the attention of thousands of Philadelphians, women, children, and families with implications for the environment, the health of the fence-like communities surrounding that facility for businesses and for the labor force. My staff and I have come to the conclusion that now is the time for council to register its voice. For the last 20 years, we have seen several administrations and dozens of council members work on bills, charter changes, programs, funding sources, and all the rest to protect our environment for the health and welfare of those whom elect us. The resolution does not encourage one proposal over another. I repeat, this resolution does not encourage one proposal over, ano over another. It simply voices our strong interest in proposals that consider the long history of actions taken by this body and the goals of the current administration to protect the health and well-being of our citizens. We need to consider things like smog, air quality, the quality of the soil, the high rates of asthma and cancer rates in that community. And for that reason and others, uh, Mr. President, I urge for this adoption. 